Hello my friends and welcome to Master Coding channel. In this exercise, we will continue with the Automat uh, course and using Gluskov construct an Automat accepting this language. So part B of this exercise would be uh, getting and constructing an Automat for this language. So L equal to A star B epsilon plus you should pay attention in order to solve like these examples as i told you in the first exercise um, we should index and the first step is indexing so i will make it more more simple and expand so a start b and epsilon as we know that it is a plus b star so epsilon star equal to a plus b star this is the equation you should uh, memorize now we need to index a star 1 b 2 a3 plus b4 plus so in this case we have indexed them and giving them numbers okay this is the first step the second step is indicating the initial and the um, let me remove these stars the initial and the final steps so the initial the initial the initial b equal we have a star so a star indicates that we have two possibilities a1 b2 star it will give us two uh, two possibilities so first time a1 is taken as epsilon so epsilon would be a neglected and b2 is uh, uh, is indicated and considered and the second time it is equal to a1 and would be indicated as a1 so you should imagine that there is an epsilon here and the second time is a one so the first language and the first letter in this language is equal to epsilon first time times b2 so epsilon times b2 equal to b2 okay and the second time the first language the first letter in this language is equal to a1 and it is taken a1 so first time is a1 and the second time is b2 okay these are the initials the final states the final final state we have uh, a3 and b4 a3 plus b4 and just like this and b4 these are the final steps okay so we need in the third in the third uh, third step is to make the the table you remember the table guys this is the table And here is the following. Okay. First of all, we have A1. So A1 here. A1 is followed by the following. The first time it is, as I told you and lectured, uh, a1 is followed by a1 and a1 again is followed by b2 so this is 
the first case. You see guys, A1 is followed by B2 and in case of epsilon, the first letter would be B2 and not A1. Okay, remember, A star indicates two possibilities, epsilon and A1. Okay, the second step, moving to B2. So we are here now, guys, and the following would be A3 and B4. It's very simple, guys. When you see plus, you take them every time as uh, separate. So B2 is followed by A3 and B2 is followed by B4. Okay? Very simple, guys. Now, we, move, we have moved to A3 plus B4. We have moved to here. So, the first time we take A3, B4, and B4, A3. Look, guys. A plus A3 plus B4 plus, it will indicate two possibilities. A3, B4, and followed by A3 plus B4. It will indicate one possibility, and it will give us two possibilities. A3, A3 plus A3, B4, B4 plus A3, and B plus B4, B4. So these possibilities, we need to put them in the table. So uh, memorize like uh, uh, memorize them as uh, in this method: a3, 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 b4, and b4, b4, and b4, a3. You see, guys, we have done more uh, making like this table. So. I will remove them here in order to draw the automat here. Okay? Okay. So, as I told you, the first step is indexing. We have we have um, like uh, develop them and second step is indicating the initial and the final the third step is making the table here the possibility of following and we need now to draw the auto math so first step is the initial see guys we are making it as i i will put them as I put it as I here and here I will uh, name it as I so I will make it here I love like this color I and I will draw from I we have two possibilities so the initial state is here to have the first step and the second possibility so a i in the initial step is equal to here the a1 and b2 so guys it's very simple it is a1 and b2 so the first letter let me let me uh, put it here again a1 b2 a star b2 a3 plus b4 plus okay so i is moving to here i is moving to here 
by making i is moving to here because of a so when the user click a i will go to a1 and when the user click on b it will give me a b okay so this is b now when the user when the user click on a1 it will give him a1 so we have two initials a1 and a b2 when a1 is clicked it will give him a1 and when b is clicked b2 we have the two possibilities here so i should draw draw like this and a1 is pressed again so a1 with a it will give itself so a1 with itself is equal to a1 a1 is followed by b2 when the user click b okay when the user click b we go to b2 now let's move to this when the user is on b2 and click a it will go to a3 when the user in on b2 click b it will go to b4 so i know i need to draw a3 and b4 again i will put the states here i will draw the states because a3 and b4 are the final steps that the that we have calculated and indicated before let me show you here a3 and b4 final steps i need to put them like this so this is a3 and this is b4 if i need according to the table if i need to go to a3 from b2 i should press a So this is A. If I need to press, if I'm on B2 and I press B, I will go to B4. This is B. Okay. Now, if we are on B, if we are, if we have moved to one of these. If I press B, it will give me B4. This is B. And if I press A, if I press A, it will take me to A3. Okay? Now, if I am on A3, we have finished the B3 before, and if I am on A3, if I press A, it will give me A, and if I press B, it would give me to B4. So guys, this is our finalized and uh, final automat for this exercise. Thank you. I hope you subscribe and benefit from our videos. Keep us making new tutorials and courses. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you, guys. See you next videos.